Hey guys, I'm back from Thailand. And man, wasn't an experience. I'm so excited to share the tons of footage I have with you guys, but it's just going to take time and I'm gonna need some help. Um, that's why I put out a request on Twitter if you didn't see for all the editors. And if you were paying attention to go my favorite sports team, you already knew I was back. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of an update vlog because not only did I get back from Thailand and I have so much footage and so many things to go through that I can't wait to share with you guys, but I got in a bike accident. Um, it's been a little over a week now since I got into it, but I'm still recovering from a concussion and some bumps and bruises, and I'm luckily pretty okay. But before I get into that part of it, I wanna tell you about my trip to Thailand. First of all, um, I left on January 31st, uh, flew to uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand, to where I was going to be spending an entire month. Um, I arrived in Thailand on February 2nd, because if you don't know, they're actually a day ahead of us as far as time zones go. And so I ended up landing there on February 2nd, got all situated, had an, uh, an apartment I rented for the entire month, and um, had an absolutely fantastic time from start to finish. First of all, the community there is so friendly, so welcoming. Um, the, the majority of the population is Buddhist, which to them, after talking to a few locals, uh, they believe it as more of a philosophy than it necessarily is a religion, which was really fascinating to me. Um, I got to talk with a Buddhist monk, ask him about that. I saw a ton, a ton of temples, and man, they are literally everywhere. Um, not only that, I went on some really cool trips. I went to Do Intanon, which is where the Royal Pagodas are. I actually just now finished writing my journal entry about that day, and it's like a ridiculous like 20 pages of writing in my notebook just talking about that day. Um, I also went and saw elephants, which was really cool. If you paid attention to go my favorite sports team, you saw me get punched in the face by one of them where I accidentally was giving them a high five, lowered my hand, and they thought I was still going. So whap, trunk to the face. But I had a fantastic time meeting the elephants, learned a lot of stuff about why um, these, these elephants are taken care of and are actually a tourist attraction in sub capacity. But it has to do with the fact that they were domesticated for labor at one point and now um, in order to take care of the elephants, they, uh, the primary reason they're used now is tourist attractions because taking care of elephants is expensive. And the guy who was raising them like treats them so much like family and it was very obvious the amount of love they have for the elephants, how much they care about them. And this guy actually has a documentary about his goal to try and you know make these elephants feel more free and not necessarily be needed uh, to be used as tourist attractions to be able to pay for taking care of them, for feeding, for land, for all of the things that entail for elephants to live and to be cared for, especially vet visits when something goes wrong. Um, the elephants were super cool to be around. We ended up spending almost an entire day with them. Um, I also went and we did some hiking, went to some local villages up in the mountains. Uh, I went all the way out to Pai, which had the second largest Buddha in all of the world, and that was really cool. I jumped a canyon, which is when I broke my toe. If you guys were paying attention to my stories and my tweets while I was out there in February. Um, so there's a ton of stories and a ton of footage that I can't wait to share with you. We happened to be there for the Flower Festival. And I say we because I went by myself, but I, there was a group that I met up with there, and I knew nobody. And so I say we because I was in a group. But um, there's a flower festival, the strawberry festival was there, there was an arts and craft thing going on. Like, it was really, really unique being able to embed myself in that world and in that culture for an entire month of my life. And I literally cannot wait to share it all with you guys. But like I said, it's gonna take time. I'm recovering from a concussion. I still have yet to go through all the editors, which by the way, I apologize that I have not gotten back to those that reached out about working with me to help edit videos. I had an accident and it's affecting my ability to even be in front of screens, so much so that there's not even going to be an episode of Go My Favorite Sports Team this week. So I do apologize for that. But now let's get into what happened and why I have a concussion to begin with. 
So I got back into town on March 2nd. Uh, it was late at night. And so I was getting my bearings back and everything else. And so on March 3rd, I kind of took it easy, recovering from jet lag, um, kind of caught up, recorded some stuff with Mark, I believe, either that day or the Monday after. I think it was the Monday, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I was getting everything situated and getting back in the routine this week. And so I was out shopping and I ride my bike everywhere. I have a Super 73 e-bike that I take everywhere and use as my transportation around LA um, because a car for one is crazy expensive and there's so many other expenses related to it. And so I don't have a car. And luckily I'm in an area where I feel like I can pretty much bike to everything. And sometimes it's a distance, which this particular trip was. So on Friday, March 8th, I was running around doing errands um, and was riding around. And on my way home, after I had finished everything, I had a few things in my backpack. I was riding down the street in the bike lane. Um, my light turned green. I passed through that. There was another intersection with a green line. I passed through that. I was staring at the intersection coming up where the light had also turned green. And traffic was next to me and it was a little bit moving. And suddenly a car turned left in front of me into a driveway. Um, luckily with my reaction time, I slammed it on my brakes. I slowed down quite a bit, but it did not stop me from colliding with the car. But it did have me collide with the car in a safer area than hitting through the windows. And so I hit the rear quarter panel of the passenger side. Um, I distinctly remember lifting my right forearm up, which you can see a little bit of the bruise as it sits around here. Um, and so... My forearm hit and my head hit. That's all I know. Um, there's actually a blank spot in my my memory from just before the impact to when I was standing up afterwards. And so what I imagine happened is I hit the car with my forearm and my head. There are two dents in the car to prove it. Uh, I actually have pictures of that, but I won't show you them. Um, I next came to when I was standing up and was checking myself out, dusting off. I cursed a little bit because I was like, why? Why? You need to watch for effing bicycles is what, what I said out loud. And so I had collided with the car. Luckily, the lady was nice enough and we met up. And more than anything, because I was dazed and I didn't realize it at the time because of adrenaline, a bystander who witnessed the whole thing came up and was actually helping me, made sure I got their information, took pictures of driver's license and insurance. And so I'm going through a whole mess with relation to getting that situated. Um, and so um, I feel like I'm fine. I have adrenaline. I've gotten the information. I want to get home. I'm just rattled and stressed. And I get on my bike and I ride a little bit. And all of a sudden, I'm starting to feel woozy. I'm like, huh. Because at this time, I'm my brain is messed up. Like, I hit hard and I got a concussion. And so I end up riding my bike home. Right when I get home, I call my dad. Uh, I call my lawyer. And I call my friend, my friend Kevin. Uh, my friend Kevin comes over and picks me up and takes me to the ER. I get evaluated that. They do a CT scan. They, they uh, x-ray my ribs, um, my legs, my foot um, to make sure nothing's broken. Luckily, nothing is. And my brain is not bleeding after the CT scan. And so um, fully confirmed I have a concussion. But they even said, based on the description of everything that happened, because I was going a solid 20, 25 miles an hour on my bike, because it was go and it was lights were green and I had a straightaway. There was no traffic in my way. And when the car turned, I couldn't go left because I would have gone into oncoming traffic, even though it was flowing with me. And so I had to just break and hope for the best. And um, I'm very lucky that I'm not more banged up. Um, this concussion, though, has been the worst nausea. I get woozy from being in front of screens for like two hours. Like even now, I'm already starting to feel woozy recording this video. And I know a lot of you are going to yell at me, but I wanted to give you guys this update now that I'm back from Thailand. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of the reason why I'm behind. That's why there's not going to be an episode to go this week. That's why I haven't gotten back to those editors that reached out. And it's also why some of the Thailand footage might take longer than it originally would have. Um, but that's the reason I needed editor help is I literally can't go through all of this footage and pare it down like I hope, but there's really cool travel content going to be coming your way eventually. All of this stuff from Thailand, I 
plan to review it and do voiceover of the day and the experience and what I was feeling like in the moment as we go through it. Um, I have some really cool plans to start doing this travel content and sharing in particular my trip to Thailand with you. And I have some other trips coming up, so that's also gonna make things delayed a little bit longer. Um, I know Mark's busy with Iron Lung, so that's impacting things. There's a million things going on. Um, and the biggest thing is my recovery from my concussion is just going to take time. Um, we don't know exactly how long. It could be two weeks, it could be a full month. It could be something where to a degree I might have some permanent impact. It's hard to say exactly how long things are gonna go, but I hope to get back into the routine of posting videos. I have a video with JP that I recorded last year posting tomorrow that I'm excited for you guys to see where we play pool, drink it, and sink it. But more importantly, I wanna let you guys know I am okay. I'm recovering, I'm healing, I'm taking care of myself. I'm eating food, I am resting, um, but I, can't wait to share so much more with you guys about Thailand, share the footage that I have, the photos that I have, and so much more. And to be able to, you know, get back into the routine of creating content for you to enjoy and for you to go on journeys with me as I travel the world. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys so much. Um, please like this video, comment, share your thoughts, uh, things you're excited about. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love interacting with you guys. So please thank you for all of your support, all of your well wishes, everything since this has gone on. And thank you so much for listening to Go My Favorite Sports Team, my comedy sports podcast with my good buddy Mark, aka Markiplier. So with that, I'm going to bid you adieu. Smile always because there's always reasons to smile out there. Even if you have a concussion, I'm still smiling because I have all of you guys. Smile always. See you next time. Bye.